Now let's talk about the cost of this fight. The state has to figure out what it has spent so far during the pandemic so it knows what it has left to spend on other emergencies. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger is majoring in math today. Uh, Marshall, the, the dollar amounts that the state has had to spend are a little hard to grasp, but they're not really surprising. There are so many pots of money at play, Kyle. The part that interested me most was how much the state is spending from its own disaster emergency fund, and it's almost $90 million. That's basically just in two months. There are other pots of money at play, though, from Congress and FEMA as well. But that state disaster emergency fund, we've already spent uh, $88.5 million. Nearly $51 million of that is on protective, uh, personal protective equipment, medical personnel, even those interpreters that we see at the news conferences. Close to $27 million for leases and renovations to alternative care sites, including field hospitals, and $7 million for the state health department on testing and lab equipment. That's all state money. Congress has kicked in $2 billion to Colorado from the CARES Act, including $42 million to provide free child care for emergency workers. Then there's a third part of money, FEMA, which has promised more than $28 million for Colorado. We found out what for during a legislative budget update today. These obligations have been used for, among other things, N95 masks, ventilators, nursing contracts, and expenses for alternative care sites like the Denver Convention Center. I've saved the worst news for last. The state's budget office estimates by, that by the end of next June, 13 months from now, there'll be about $11 million left in that disaster emergency fund. Not too long ago, there was $100 million in that fund, Kyle. It's meant for all types of disasters, not just COVID-19. We just ran through it so fast because of that in the last two months. So I know sometimes when we have emergencies, the state will outlay the money first and then eventually they get a federal reimbursement. Do we think that's going to happen here? Yeah, FEMA is supposed to refund 75% of the money from that emergency fund as long as we can line item it was used for COVID-19 emergency response. The state doesn't believe that they will just hand over 75% without question, so they estimate maybe we'll get about half or 51% of that money back, so about $45 million back. All right. My brother in a sweater, Marshall Zellinger, thank you for the insight on the financial aspect as always.